All right, how y'all doing? I'm back again. Right now, I've got a, I've got a treat. Uh, for, I've got a uh, a Beretta PX4 Storm. Anyways, a Beretta PX4 Storm. Now, I don't know too much about this firearm. Um, other than it's made by Beretta. Um, it's a very popular manufacturer. Military uses them. Uh, law enforcement has used Beretta. Uh, very popular manufacturer. This is a Beretta PX4 Storm... 40 cal That's pretty much all I know about it as you can see slide lock Magazine removed No rounds in the chamber Still finger straight and off the trigger safety is paramount Safety most important thing you can do when handling firearms So we're gonna figure out how to break this down and clean it together I've never done it before I have no idea and we're going to uh, we're going to we're going to check it out so here we go um let's see here it's got two little tabs two little some people call them tabs some people call them nipples whatever you want to call them we got two of them right here uh i got my safety cool thing about this is safety is ambidextrous there's one on this side here there's one on this side there so if you're right-handed left-handed either way you know you got that thumb safety right there that's kind of cool and it's got a hammer um you know, most Berettas have hammers, but you know, like Glock, they don't. But it's got a hammer right here. That's cool. It has an ambidextrous safety, but only right-sided magazine release. That's a little weird. Um, and it's got what... I guess you would call a rotating bolt. I'm not 100% sure. If you look at the bolt, you see it move? See it move? See it move? Right? So it's it's got, I, I guess that's what you would call a rotating bolt. It's kind of weird. Anyways, I've heard a bunch of mixed reviews about this. I've heard it is the Ferrari of Beretta. I've heard it. Um, nothing more than a Beretta's version of the. Uh, okay, so that's how that works. Cock the weapon, hold down the uh, the little nipples, pull the trigger, slide comes right off. So it kind of disassembles like a Glock interesting helpful little fact right there but like i was saying i've i've heard mixed reviews i've heard that that you know it's an awesome firearm it's smooth it's solid it's on point on target ferrari of beretta world i don't know how you would cl classify you know, ferrari of beretta world okay yeah i've heard it's nothing more than beretta's version of a high point it's shitty it sucks it's a paperweight that's up to you if you want to go get your hands on one of these try it out you know send me a message leave me a comment let me know what you think if you own one let me know what you think all right so i've got the slide taken off Woo! there it is gone all right and now we've got this so how the hell does this work let's see here um all right so that slides forward you press press it forward and spring comes out 
And by George, it, I guess it is a rotating bolt, because if you look at the bolt right there, it's grooved to slide. So then, let's see what we got going on. Huh? Uh, barrel comes out like so. So I've got my slide. I've got my barrel. I've got my recoil spring. That's just interesting looking on so many levels of interesting looking. I, I don't even know. And I've got my frame. Um, like I said, this is really my first time messing with the PX4 Storm. So if you're a PX4 lover and you've got like the full size, the compact and the subcompact, and you're watching this going, this guy has no clue what the hell he's talking about, you're right. I really don't know. This is my first time really messing with a PX4. Um, just going off of basic firearm, uh, handgun pistol knowledge, semi-automatic pistol knowledge. Um, am I able to break it down and look at it? So we are going to take a little bit of this uh, gun oil right here. This... Uh, M Pro 7 and I'm just gonna put a little bit up in here now some of you are saying that oh my god he's using a lot of oil way too much oil in that thing well you're right I am and the reason behind that is I lube up my gun real good lube funny word I lube it up real nice, real good, real well, and I let it sit. I let it sit in there for 15, 20 minutes, and then I'll wipe it down clean again. You know, wipe all that excess oil off. And the reason behind that is, just like everything, metal has pores in it. And it allows that gun oil to soak in to those pores. And that's just, you know, how I've always been taught to do it. And, uh, you know, get all that excess carbon off. Now, CLP or uh, clean protect any, you know, rim oil, anything like that. It'll protect. It'll help protect against rust. It won't make it rust proof, but it will help protect against rust. And we're gonna just brush down this barrel right here. So it protects against rust. It helps protect against rust. It helps um, take carbon off. Carbon buildup every time you fire around there's that little explosion obviously that goes on in there and uh, it deposits carbon residue on the inner workings of your firearm and too much carbon buildup will damage your firearm it will make it so that there are stoppages weapon malfunctions weapon failures and if you're a target shooter or a recreational shooter and that's all you do you clear a jam you fix it and you go back you know not a big deal but if you're a law enforcement military uh, private contractor um, even for home defense a weapon malfunction weapon failure weapon jam could ultimately call be the determining factor between you living and you dying or someone living and someone dying. So we don't want that. But, there we go. Put a little bit on these little rails. And you look at these little rails right here. Just like on all semi-automatic firearms, pistols. Those are the uh, slide guides. You put a little drop of oil on them. 
Let's brush it in real quick. Not that big of a deal. All right, now, for time's sake, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back together real fast. I've got my barrel. And let's see. So, going like that. All right, so the barrel goes in just like that. It's got the groove right here for the rotating barrel. So it's gonna sit in there, just like so. Don't do that. All right, so I'm gonna put my spring back in like this and push it forward. You push it all the way forward, or as far forward as you can get it, and you let it come back. And as it comes back, it's gonna set in that groove right there. All right, so now it's set in that groove. I take my frame, take my slide guides right here on either side, and I put them in the corresponding notches. And it should just slide straight back in. Give it a cock. Looks good. Hammer's back. Now, you pull the trigger, it sends the hammer back home. Now, a lot of folks will tell you not to dry fire your gun, blah, blah, blah. It'll break it. It'll damage it. You know, it'll wear down the fire pin because it's not striking a primer, this, that, and the other thing. Is that true? I think it is, but I'm not a, you know, a gun expert. I know guns. I know a lot about guns, but I'm not an expert. So I'm not going to say it is, but I think it is. But anyways, so that's why you saw me put my thumb on the hammer as I pull the trigger and I ease the hammer forward. Thumb on the hammer. Unloaded firearm. Unloaded firearm. Finger on the trigger. Pull the trigger. Ease that hammer forward. Weapon on safe. PX4 Storm. There it is. Interesting little handgun. It's not that heavy unloaded. Eh. Might have to take it out back here to the little range we got and try it out. Anyways, y'all have a good one. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Um, you never know what you're going to see. Might be firearms related like today. It might be doing some cowboy stuff tomorrow. We might be out there in the Gulf of Mexico fishing next weekend. You, you never know. Deer season's coming up. So uh, stay tuned for that if you're a hunter. You never know. Anyways. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe to my channel. Y'all have a blessed day. Thanks.